the <laughs> runner boy. He, where's my money, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, some tissues. I can my nose real quick. Where's my money, man? <laughs> the most sister one, one asked one. one if they can be on this podcast. I didn't know. I didn't know. So. Yes, you did. What? I didn't know. That was cold. You just said, you said, because I was, I was sleepy last time. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. What's up, baby? <laughs> Good night with this. Worst video. character traits is missing. <laughs> nice try, sister. I'm getting there. Welcome back to the podcast. I am Mo. <laughs> and I am Tiv. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of... I don't want to change my shirt. I feel like my, I feel like my nipples <laughs> going to peek out. Like, <laughs> you know, and I'm not trying to give nobody a free show in this bag, but I got to change my shirt. I just feel like... Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on right now? I'm going to hold my sniffle and everything. Well, I feel like that boob going to pop out. Like, it is not pop like, out. Like, I feel it inching towards me. Yeah. All right. Let go. <laughs> if y'all get a show, I'm sorry. <laughs> Episode, what is it? 45? 45. 40, 45. <laughs> okay, wait, pause. Huh. <laughs> sorry, I thought it was a good one. All right. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to the Mo and Tiff podcast. This is episode number 45 of season three. Trace. Or three. Today on the show, our podcast, I don't like saying show for whatever reason, because I think everybody said it. Today on our podcast, we have a special guest. Ugh. We have a guest, 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 guest. Yes, we do have a special guest today, and um, I think I'm very familiar with this guest. I've seen him... I won't keep it. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I've seen him come out of strange places. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> I've known him for quite a while. And uh, it, it is definitely an honor to have Man. our own. <laughs> let me stop. With somebody like. It is what it is. Our own flesh and blood. Jay Duh. In the building with that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, How does it feel to, to be on again? <laughs> the second time. Y'all seen the last time. This Y'all is the second what happened. time. We tried this uh, second time. So, hey, look, you got to know when to get them up out of there. Yeah. And let some real shooters on. Um, so. How does it feel for the second time to be on the number one podcast in the world? How does that feel? Man, it feels uh, feels amazing. It feels fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> With their <that> plug. <laughs> and you saw that? Always plugging his. Right. Always doing something. Oh, uh, I mean, our topic is a pickup from when we didn't start. Wait, wait, wait. What about there's never a dull moment? But you got to do that one. Because I believe never a dull moment with this week has really been um, on the road. <laughs> oh, you got one? Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, oh, let me see. Yo, we do. Because we're still fighting with this, this doggone too. But let me tell you this though. So... We've been fighting with this tooth for, I think this is probably third week, right? I think it's third week. It's finally like, hi. Like, I can just just thump it, like, outward, and it's going to pop out. So, um, so this week, (laughs) she got, uh, my sister, too, got walked over to me because their schools are conjoining to mine. So, she goes, In a far land. Far, far away. Guess what? And I'm like, what? She's like, I lost a tooth. I'm like, how is it the tooth that I wasn't even messing with? So like the other two that was loose. Because you had three. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, three. So the one that I've been messing with trying to pull it for three weeks, that's the one that's still hanging on. The one that I hadn't even touched really is the one that 
he knows out so she's been milking this right never a dull moment she's been really milking this like so that day she had you know shaved ice then she was like can I get um some of my butt cake can I eat this so like because she's lost one we didn't tell her which one she had to lose so you know little you know bargain to her you know she's probably gonna be somebody's lawyer one day around here <laughs> but the way she sat there and you know she, she finessed me real good yeah she did so, she's good um, that's that one then i had another one uh, you know with my sister one she doesn't really say a whole lot y'all but when she does so this week so what two weeks ago we did basketball trials this week cheer tryouts yeah. so she's trying out a lot <laughs> so we're excited don't get us wrong but it's tiring because they've never had the opportunity to do so much as far as after school activities so um you know, cheer out, uh, try out day one. Hey, my sister one, how did it go? Good. Okay. Do you know the cheers? Like, what do you have to do? Do you need my help? You know, all of this. Nothing. So I check. You know, Class Dojo, which is an app. If you ha if you have kids, you know, like that's just an app that is used to communicate with parents. So then all these cheers pop up. So I'm like, do you know these? Mm-hmm. So like, do you really know them? Okay, show me. So now we have this whole little thing because we don't want to be shown. We don't want to show the cheer. So what do I do? You know I can help you, right? Because I used to be a cheerleader. Like this is me. <laughs> Supposed to be doing homework. I missed so, all this action. <laughs> you did. So she goes to the room. So I was like, most sister too, make your sister show you the cheer, okay? <laughs> So not only does she make her sister do the cheer, she makes she records it for me. So I was like, oh, I can show you that cheer. So like we're in here doing the cheer. I think I we, heard that. You heard it, yeah. but you didn't see it. So like I'm showing her how to like pop her arms, you know, like all the things. So that cheer. So you know your emotions gotta be sharp. So day two comes around and now we're just waiting. We're we're waiting to see if Moses two has made cheer tryouts. But you know our dull moments are just uh, like little old women. That's Literally, facts. Uh, I'm changing their name from Sally and Susie to Sophia and Rose, the Golden Girls. Definitely, um, because that's what we get. And I'm just gonna be uh, Dorothy. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I have. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure long. I had some other ones, but you know, I did have one because after Mo sister one got her, had got her two pulled. With her oh two yeah, we oh Lord, I forgot about her. We got we got a whole uh, thing going on over here. The season of the tooth. That's what it was. And uh, she was like, uh, <laughs> Dad, you know. <laughs> We sitting there chilling, right? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> that's throughout. I, I guess this was in her head the whole day. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. It was in her head the said? whole day. So we go pick up my wife. A lot of times, you know, we do family rides. I try to do a lot of things when we're together. Family so, pick up and drop off. Um, it's quiet in the back. Quiet in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> pin can you, you you can hear a pin drop and I hear this small gentle voice come out the back and says um dad you know me with my calm gentle caring <laughs> father voice yes babe I didn't get the money for my tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Did and not. at that time. And here I am, don't even know what a tooth was like when we put it in after we pulled it. Like, I just remember sitting it down. And then I just it. said, uh, oh, man, I think we'll get that over to you. But then, you know, my son was like, that, that reminded me of the scene on uh, Family Guy. <laughs> like, where's my money, man? <laughs> so as a parent, you like, I wish you would. <laughs> well, see, that's, and that was, that was that part. And then yeah. I was like, and then wait, because the next, that same night, 
or that same night she told you that most sister too came her little tooth was in a treasure box she got a sheet of paper she did ripped it and sat it on the nightstand and put the tooth on there and said tooth is here Golly. I was not and, alone. And, and the tooth, and, the, and, and she didn't get money for hers either. And I said, well, maybe there was no change <laughs> laying around because <laughs> all was left is big bills unless you want some coins. So, Tooth Fairy and Duck. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> we'll do Tooth we're, Fairy and Duck. We'll do two fair you know, <laughs> We're uh, a little behind, so we're just gonna go to five below and take care of all that. So we're gonna post our cash app in the description <laughs> so we can help our two fun. <laughs> um, listen, listen, we gotta do what we gotta do for these kids. <laughs> y'all kids lost tooth and y'all ain't have no change either. Then, then, like I was <laughs> nah, what I'm thinking about doing is put some credit card uh, scanners up under the <laughs> Go ahead and swipe that guy. Yeah. That's in your account. Jeez. Check it. Yeah, here's your money. Yeah, we, <laughs> we just gonna start doing, you know, butt cakes and you know, you know it's just stuff something. like that. Might do trips. Yeah, cause I ain't nobody has time. Uh, but uh, man, here we are, back with another show, um, with uh, uh, our first guest. For season three, you good? Season, yeah, I was. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. I was trying to. What's going on here? Yeah. Oh, you gonna blow it at me though? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I had to ask. She good? <laughs> what's going on here? I was trying to blow it the other way. So that's what's up. Uh, listen, <laughs> love is love. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So uh, this is our first guest on our yes. show, and you know I feel honored to have my oldest on the show, and you know I, I, our our oldest on the show. And he is. You know what I'm saying he he he's come from uh, a strong boy. background. You know what I'm saying he is single. <laughs> if you uh, if you're looking for a a a wholesome. Righteous man of God, that's who he is. His father is <laughs> what? your husband. So obviously he's a good catch. <laughs> Yo, what is it? Let me find J Mo. You know what I'm saying? Find J Mo a boo thing. J Dub. Yeah. Oh my. So uh, you know he he has as you see great parents. Uh, he I has can. a great future ahead of him. I mean, let, let's get into uh, just briefly, just briefly, give your uh, what you plan on doing with your life. So let these single ladies know. <laughs> how, smart, how smart you are, son. You know what I'm saying? Just Tell you, know. you ain't no regular. <laughs> no regular degular out here. Make your voice a little deep more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you no, know, break it out. Well, uh, I'm into uh, uh, yeah, my not a lover. No, I'm a lover, not a wife. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, what's up, ladies? <laughs> my name is Jay Dunn. <laughs> Jay Dunn. All I do <laughs> is win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but explain to the people something about yourself, single ladies. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, stop. What? <laughs> it's like I'm desperate. <laughs> He's not saying this. I'm saying it. His father's oh, saying man. this. He's fine. He's giving His daddy's game. fine too, as you can see. So he's gross. <laughs> you know what I'm uh, so <laughs> you know, uh, it's, I'm taking a gap year to college. Uh, well, let's not talk about the college. You, 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 you want to give a dog on? Well, they want to know. I, I, I want, I'm starting. A, I'm gonna start streaming and gaming and. Uh, want to no, be a, not that. Let, not, you know, not that. Start, not you that. know what your career is. What your careers and goals. Your asp, you know aspirations, right? That's what aspirations. Were. Yeah. Um, so you know, like what you want to be when it's all said and because you know they like you know the single ladies are like okay, what you into? You know what I'm saying? I like uh, long walks in the park. I like <laughs> <laughs> going well, to the beach. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Traveling vacation. I'm a patient dude. Sometimes whenever my sister get on my nerves, <laughs> you know stuff like that. Go ahead. Well. 
I love animals. So uh, definitely an animal lover. Yeah, that's and I want to be a wildlife biologist mm-hmm. to help uh, start my own enclosure for endangered animals. Uh, my favorite animal is the cheetah. Why is that? It's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's uh, one of the. I love big cats in general, just mm-hmm. because lions. Tigers and bears. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I was going in that direction. Uh, but cheetahs, they're the fastest land animal. Not the fastest animal. Fastest mm-hmm. animal is actually the peregrine falcon. But uh, hey, look, ladies, listen. What's about if you just go pay attention to how fast you are? Know, <laughs> 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 okay. But yeah, I just love the cheetah. I've always, I fell in love with it watching Wild Kratts. That was my show Okay Back in the day But uh, uh What else man What else about you Man I'm what a gamer can we get these ladies <laughs> He's a gamer I'm a gamer Yep He's a gamer You know what I'm saying a gamer Want to be a motivational speaker as well Well you're not a gamer You're a content creator Content creator It's a difference Yeah you know Can I move this So I can sit my cup right there And uh Favorite game mm-hmm. Currently is Fortnite He's a Fortnite gamer Yeah That's Fortnite it. gamer Content creator <laughs> And uh, man, I love the beach. I remember my first time going to the beach. Oh, glad you said beach, son. <laughs> <laughs> this is about to turn to a whole different podcast. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta remove my son's chest cavity for cussing on our podcast. Uh, <laughs> praise God. Uh, I told you he's a righteous man. Well, go ahead. Yeah. Love uh, the beach. Yeah, love the beach. Uh, I love sunsets. Sunsets, like just the s- sky in general, is beautiful. You can get all the things now. You know what I'm saying? So listen, <laughs> my email is just when I. <laughs> 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 oh man! Um, if which? I, go ahead. I was gonna say if I had to take a trip anywhere, it'd be Paris. I love, uh, I love Paris. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna try to do an accent, but I'm not. Don't do that. <laughs> That'd be real I'm bad. I'm gonna do an accent. <laughs> You're shaking their head. Look at this. <laughs> oh. Stop right there. Wrong. Move it right along. All right, we gave him enough. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you lose our stuff. Lose That's our, it, right there. Lose a bunch of subscribers. Then. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, man. Um. I gotta say that's that's it. Okay, yeah, that's it. No, okay. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty. I'm pretty simple. Listen, <laughs> that right there is J Dub. You know, J-Dub, y'all it. heard it. I mean, y'all self, great, great, great man of God. Um, looking for what kind of woman are you looking for? Let me stop. I was about to. I was about to. Listen, the guy is single. You know what I'm saying? He's single. You know what I'm saying? So. um Keeping in mind those who are single, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I, I am like, one of those fathers. Not, though, but like. this is not the single podcast. We're talking about something totally different. No so bad. That's true. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today's topic was just like last week's topic, which is: Is it raging gaming or gaming raging? Raging while gaming. Raging while gaming. Uh, this is, uh, I think, a broad and also a great topic. I think it's something that a lot of people don't even talk about, honestly. Because I've seen some people ra- not only rage as far as in gaming, but when their team lose, it's rage in that too. Oh, yeah. So, I so guess... You don't have to necessarily be playing... Like, basically... You don't have to necessarily be to. You don't have to be playing a game. You could just be into a game or a sport as well. Yep. And when I, I I just got something, the the Holy Ghost just dialed in and gave me something. Um. So, but I'm gonna say that towards the end. So J Dub. Yep. For the single lady, <laughs> <Stop. laughs> that's the thing. Excuse myself. <laughs> you good? Supposed to be hyping him up too. Come on, do your job. I do. So, uh, just a little quiet. With why me. do you? Why? What? What drives you to rage in the game? Let, let, let's let's start with that. Yeah, I I said it before, but 
I rage because I know I can do better in a game. Okay. So let's say I'm playing the game and I see a player and he doesn't look too good. And so I, you know, fight him. And I end up dying in a way that, you know, I was predictable or doing something that's predictable. That to me is like, oh man, I shouldn't have died that way. Or, ah oh, man, why'd that happen? Or yeah. I could have did this better. Like it's the should have could have in the woods that make me rage yeah. mm, okay it will make you rage but when I used to rage it's because uh, I didn't like to lose like nobody ever <clears throat> explained to me it's like you expect to win every time oh yeah like especially when you're gaming like when you're into it like and you, know you expect good to win so when you do lose and the crazy part is it's not like you lose on like something real crazy it's always something real simple, simple. Mm -hmm. it's like the simplest thing you turned the wrong way or you were <laughs> like you miscalculated your jump and or <laughs> this, this is my the rage I remember is when I was playing um Mario, this going this, this, this night, like I used to get upset because I'd be like, man, Mario ain't got no hops at all. This dude cannot <laughs> jump. Like, Don't do Mario. I used to be like, this old fat dude can't oh, jump. That's what, like, I used to go in. Like, <laughs> whoa. Listen, I told y'all. Listen, I was a razor razor. Like, because Yo. nobody ever explained to me. Not like, against Mario. Though. He was fat. <laughs> without, without the mushroom. You know he had those mushrooms. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. So, yeah, I had a little issue with Mario. He slimmed up a little bit. I was like, on the Super Nintendo. He was still a little chubby, though. <laughs> <laughs> he always had that gut in front of him. So I feel like he never, you like, really? never got. Listen, listen, hey, look, look, come on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm explaining my past. Oh, man. I don't do it now. Can't, can't oh, judge yeah. you for his past. I can't judge you for my past. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, that's the reason why I believe for me it was just like I hated losing. And, and, and I think it goes back to what J Dub said. It's just. Not only disappointing in yourself, but it's like a lot of times you be like, "That's stupid." <laughs> it's facts. How, how or how I got killed? That's dumb. That's stuff with the stupidest stuff. <laughs> so why don't you rage in the game? Let, let's talk about that because I don't think people really know that you were a gamer. I mean, you're coming back, but I don't think people like like this is really going to blow people's minds right here. Okay, so let's talk about where it starts, though. It started because I didn't start off playing games. I started out watching football. Okay. Actually, I started out watching basketball. Which, that's different, too. I started out watching basketball. Like, in high school, I watched basketball. Mm. This professional so, or just... No, this is like professional. No, this is like professional ball... You want like, to get the NBA? By NBA. Like, okay, I who, 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 what was you watching? This is well, this is back. You know, this was way back. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time hearing about this. Yeah, that, Ooh, I, I, <laughs> this is my first time. This, this, this is new, y'all. This is That's why I got to dive in on this one. Go ahead. Like, I mean, you know, like old school, because this was like back, like, what, early 2000s. So, you know, it's all the old heads still playing. Like, I watched the Pacers. I watched the Knicks wow. play. Like, Reggie I, Miller? Yes, okay. Like, I was like, I watched, like, so it went from there. And then I grew up. <laughs> so like, stupid. I, I was saying, you. that was Duh. a pretty ugly dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I wa so I watched it. And then, like, on top of that, I did. I went to, like, high school. Like, I was big in sports when I did high school. Like, I I, I love going to basketball games. I love going to football games. Like, so I started out there. Okay. Then, um, the college I attended didn't have a team, so UGA became the team. So, um, how do you go from <laughs> NBA to college football? Yeah, how do you go from that? That's different. Uh, I don't even remember how I got into college football. That's the crazy part. Like. 
It well, wasn't. Uncle, no cousin. No, no, no. no Cause nobody what like I didn't, you know, my dad was a baseball fan. So okay. he was like, you know, or he like he loved the Yankees. So like that was his thing. But I just I don't know what made me gravitate to football for real. Like I don't I don't know if it was What made you gravitate to basketball? I was watching basketball all the time because actually I grew up watching basketball. My stepdad watched basketball all the time. We wa- we used to watch the Bulls. Dad, so dad when I was little, I would mm. be like scoop. That's what I would call when they sh- made the hoops. Mm. So I would call it scoops. <laughs> yeah, she, she really wasn't into it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so and my like my mama watched like so my mom we used to watch sports like for real legit. So I don't know how I became a Georgia Bulldogs fan back then, but like it was it was rough. Like I would be in front of the TV, I was talking trash. You know I wasn't all the way saved then, so I said some words Golly. like. Yeah. True heathen, huh? <laughs> I was all in. So then it kind of went from there. Then it got into like gaming. And how I got introduced is I had a friend who he was like, you know, T- you you should uh, play Call of Duty with us. I don't know nothing about no Call mm-hmm. of Duty. And then I got hooked. Huh. I got hooked on COD. And when I got hooked, it was on the popping. And I would, we would have like, we would have. You have like chats and stuff. We didn't have. We were like texting and who getting on. And we had like you know way. like we we like texting for like groups. And I would rage if somebody was not doing what they were supposed to. Oh wow! <laughs> and you know we were full on. So like, give me the headset. Excuse me. Give me the headset. Give me who talking back to me. Let me talk trash to them. Oh yeah. Like we were I was all in. Like literally all in. Head like just whole body just, and just give me a gun and put me in the game. Like that's uh, what uh, you, you know, I'm sitting here. I don't know if I should be turned on or scared. <laughs> 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 Let me keep it a buck. Let me get Why? What would you be scared of? Like I was, it was it was it was bad. But I think like with that though <laughs> I I uh sorry, it was my reasoning though. Let me get Jerry's really? like, man, I always pray, like, man, it would be good to marry a gamer, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like, then I stopped That's your turn on. It's like, wow, that's cool. Yeah. I, I, I accidentally married a gamer. You accidentally married a gamer. But then to hear you talk about, like, yeah, I'm going to beat your, you know. I was. Like, that was me. You ain't get, you, Come out. you, 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 what, you, oh, you, you ain't see, shoot yeah. the uh, one dude. Yeah, you can't You ain't see, nothing but a. You ain't, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was it. Trash. Okay. Yeah. So, I feel, you know, this is, listen. Yeah. Y'all learning that. just like I'm learning here. Let's go. All of that. And I really, like, I, I play, but then I realized, like, it was an unhealthy way to release a lot of the. You know, who told you it was unhealthy? Let's, let's start it, the, the the raging was unhealthy. So like, but who told you that though? Like, or did you just notice that? No, I felt like I would. I mean, when you up in front of the TV, yo screaming at the TV during the football game, and ain't nobody watching the football game but you, and they can <coughs> hear you. Like I was by myself watching the football. Like. I'm not talking about like sitting at you know how people have football watch parties. No, I'm not. I'm talking about me and me watching the game, going off at the TV. It's mm. different. Yeah, right. yeah, that's, like, that's, I mean, but you can't say it's different because I guarantee you, I know a person that I work with. <clears throat> I guarantee you he does that. Yeah, like because and then because he tells us. Yeah, yep. and I mean, and you, you get up like I used to get up in the TV. Stupid coach. Yeah, like what are you doing? That's just stu- nah. And then this is the other part. Don't even understand all the plays. Wow. Like, but I'm hot, fire mad, not just little mad. I'm like super duper mad. Like you know the little what's the little uh, red panda? Who <laughs> you know? Uh, that? Like how much? <laughs> turning into red panda mad. <laughs> Wow. Like I'm big mad, like at the game. Okay, J J Dub, can can you relate to this? Let's let, let let's spin it your way because <laughs> she just went off into a whole tension just now. Just just, okay, just so wow, she snapped off a little bit. I'm I'm a little, uh, you know. You scared? Okay, we, <laughs> need, we, we probably need to call a therapist. Uh, <laughs> 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 let's get some stuff worked out. Like um, I'm good now. Okay, J Dub. 
So, uh, <laughs> Cause she, she, I, she start every time she start going back, she start getting even more amp. She start, start scooting up in the chair, you know. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's let's bring it back to you, Jay. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm not really a big sports person. Okay. So I can't relate to the sports. I can now. I can relate to seeing other people do it because my family back home, big sport. Everyone sports. That's so, facts. So. You know, I'm upstairs playing the game, and all you hear is, "Oh my goodness, what?" The? Like, yeah, you know, they just like, <laughs> it's <about> right though, <laughs> like yelling at the coach, yelling at the refs, and even just I, in in uh, real games like basketball games. If you just went to like a real basketball game, like a high school game, you know, they yelling at the refs, yelling at the players. You know, they're uh, if if a parent had a the kid on the court, they yelling at the yeah. like, "What you doing, coach? Like, put him in!" Like, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So now that you snitched on everybody else, <laughs> <left. laughs> now I can relate. You. To, How can you relate to, from your standpoint? I can right? relate to knowing that you're raging because mm. I've raged before. I was saved. And I knew I was raging. I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew exactly the words I was putting together. I knew exactly the... Boy, you said words, right? <laughs> What's going on? I knew exactly the emphasis on what I wanted to do, like how loud I wanted to say. Because I, I always did it whenever my mom wasn't home. <laughs> oh, wow. So you had the levels comes out, man. Yeah, I had levels. Like, there were, like, if my mom was home, I wouldn't, you know... She was I w- very conservative. Yeah, I would be like, "Oh my, oh my goodness, oh my god, I just died." But if she wasn't home, it was full on bleepity bleepity. <laughs> yeah, it was bleepity. I wasn't around for this. Um, for uh, that part. Yeah, yeah, my, my chest cavity would have been removed. <laughs> yeah, sure. But like I think, that. but I think even in all of that, because if you take how <clears throat> how J Dub said, like, "Hey, yeah, I see." other people doing it like i i remember like i said the trash talking Mm, and so i part of me wants to say is it because we mirror raging that we have seen growing up for people that are involved in sports because i pulled all the way back when i realized you weren't a sports person (laughs) well i ruined it uh. i was like okay i can't (laughs) do because I'm watching ruined it. game by myself. Because uh, I guess me, I'll stop watching. <laughs> <laughs> but that was kind of how it was. It was like, okay, watch the game. Okay, it's no fun because I'm the only one into the game. So let me just start watching the score from my phone. Okay. Hey, look, 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 look. Like you just weren't into ass. If you want me to act like I'm into it, no, no. oh, I can get down with the best. <laughs> That's what you had, like it. That's what I'm telling you. I'll put on a good performance. No, I'm just saying, but that was how I kind of like weeded myself out of it you know um and i think sometimes we we have to take those breaks because those breaks are healthy um so that we can like you said get to a point where we can actually acknowledge like oh yo we we doing a whole lot you know when i like when i'm up in front of the tv i ain't throw nothing at tv i ain't trying to knock it down or nothing but when i'm actually in front of tv screaming and these people can't hear me i mean it's just like you know a scary movie (laughs) they don't see you and I think you asked me that one time. Like, babe, yeah. hey, why are you yelling at the TV? You know they can't hear you, right? And I think after a couple of times you said that to me, I was like, he right. Why have because, you look, look, look. First of all, I don't like wasted air and space and energy. Because my mom used to do the same thing. But it wasn't about sport. Well, she, she rages out on sports, too. And she used to do it for uh, when she used to watch the stories. Storage used to be her thing, and when she used to go off, when she used to say, "Girl, you so stupid," and I'd be like, "Mom, you know they can hear you. See, you got a smart mouth." <laughs> oh. so, I'm just, <laughs> but I was real big on you putting out energy, but you're not getting nothing. <laughs> like you're putting out the most, like listen, irate type of stuff. But it's going nowhere, right? And especially I think with you, you like like you said, you were in the house by yourself. I was. So it's just kind of like. But I still because if it was a game, but that 
I mean, I had my reasons why I was in the house by myself and why I did it that way. But those were my outlets because there was no, there was nowhere I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't do anything. So the thing that had me to where I could actually socialize with people were if I am definitely playing, you know, playing video games. And that was why I love football because I stopped watching football to go heavily into video gaming. Mm. And so when I hit video gaming, it was like, oh, this is it right here because that was my way to be able to socialize with peers. Gotcha. There was no other way and no other method to do that because, you know, you didn't have was I don't even know if Skype was like popping in. But Skype Skype might have had just started talking but it was more so for business people gotcha. but like there wasn't all of the things that we have now there wasn't google meet there was really just Oops. calling and texting and this is like like i said this is like early this is prior to what this is right at 2010 ish mm. no 2000 no this is 2007 8 wow so all <laughs> of that time you don't have you don't have I didn't have an outlet so the outlet became gaming and because I had so much pent up aggression and frustration in my actual life oh now, see now we're tapping into some now stuff now I gotta get this out in the game cause what I really wanna say is bleepity bleepity bleep to you but I'ma say it to the people on the game <laughs> you know what I'm well, well let me ask this then to, to you know I'm a gamer and I also do this <laughs> um Starting with J Dub, do you feel like raging is wrong? Like, do you, like do you feel like raging is a problem? I feel like uncontrolled rage is a problem. Okay. Because I know I know I nowadays I have controlled rage, like and I would if I nowadays if I lose I'm like ah oh, man or I'll even go like I'll even step back in my chair. That that's a little bit of raging. Because it's like, oh man, I lost the game. But it's not, you know, how you see clips of people breaking stuff. I'm not breaking anything. I'm not yelling as much as I used to be. You loud now? Hold up now. I, I, I do. I, I'm, loud, I'm pretty. Man. I'm pretty you, loud, you but loud. But I'm not as loud as I used to okay. be. Yeah. I used to be very loud. Um, but like, it, I I feel like controlled rage. Rage can be controlled, and it's okay. It's like. You know what the Bible says? It's like be angry but sin not. It's, so it's like have rage but don't uh yeah don't don't no no <laughs> don't wild out <laughs> right. And I mean we do this and that's why we we really wanted the girls to be a part um, of this particular podcast because even with them at seven and nine yeah mm-hmm. which you I don't know, know I I think I know where they get their rage from now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Don't do me like that. Um, so, the apple is still <laughs> on the tree. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But do you feel like raging is a problem? Um, I definitely think that it's a problem. I think that it's a problem definitely when you go too far and then you don't know how to pull back because even though J-Dub is saying, hey, you know, controlled raging is okay. Facts, okay? But how do I know? At what point do I know when to control it? At what point do I know when to pull back? Because think, like, when I remember gaming, like, we started gaming as kids Mm because we had Atari, we had, uh, I mean... I think we threw some games right then. I'm not gonna even lie, wow. cousins. I'm gonna share this. Make sure y'all let me know, cause I'm positive we done threw some games at, at Auntie Velma house or somewhere. But that's what we used to play. Bro, we ain't had that much money to be throwing games. Like I think, like <laughs> bro, we have fought over games. Like I think it's you know, been, you know, those types of things. So yes, control it, but when you're a little kid seven and nine take your sisters they don't know how to control it so as parents we have to say hey pause you if it's getting you this upset then you need to take a breather yeah so this brings to my next question then ah. you, you, you dip it in my question bag Sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, i wish you stay out of it uh-huh. <laughs> it'll make me rage out a minute <laughs> so um starting with you because you went here this is the question have you ever broken anything while playing the game? Or raging? Let's just say raging. Let's just say raging in general. I'm I'm going to say I don't remember if I did. You blacked out? 
<laughs> My Jesus. Mommy, I never break anything while gaming. You know I'm pretty sure I did. Because uh, I probably threw a controller or two. Um, I almost got money. Oh. I, I mean, you know, it's the regular Nintendo. Stuff was cheap then. We we need to do way back. First of all, listen, listen. We ain't have it like that. Nah. If I, <laughs> hey, hey, if if I broke something, it was in my head. <laughs> That's facts. That's, That's a facts. I, don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I've broken anything. Okay. If I have, it. I I can see it being like. Oh Nintendo because we didn't have like, I didn't have multiple systems. I had the regular Nintendo, which is probably a, excuse me, still at my mama's house. Mm-hmm. With the original now I know what duck hunt. I knew I I know good and well I uh, that gun at duck hunt. I already know that. For what? I, I knew I was mad at them when I couldn't shoot them ducks with my for guy. And it's don't let the controller not work or the duck hunt gun not work. Now we got a whole nother thing. But I know that I probably have thrown some stuff. I don't know if I threw it hard enough to break it, but it. We had different systems. So at my house, I had one, and I would go to my my uncle's house because they might have had the Super Nintendo. Because I didn't have that. I didn't have a Super Nintendo, but my aunt had one for my cousins. So I know we fought over the games before. I'm pretty sure I probably thrown something, but not enough to break it. Because my mama, you know, she type A crazy. You know, I'm scared of her. Um, That's what's up. You know, like I knew, I knew a limit. Type A crazy. Type. <laughs> that what you say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you, that's the parents. Uh, you know well, you then I something. know where the rage come from. Then, if your mom is type A crazy, she's a rager too. Probably so. Makes sense. Joe Dub, uh, have you ever broken anything while raging? Takes a while to ask my mom before. I, I am not doing that. <laughs> I probably did. I'm sorry, Bobby. So she could rage at me. <laughs> what, a question. what you what you want? What you about? <laughs> what? Uh, no, actually, I have not. Like, I think the amount of times that I've maybe like aggressively set the controller down. I never threw my controller. How I never you aggressively Whoa, like, that's, that's, like, like, like wait, wait. circle back to this <laughs> aggressively <laughs> setting. No, because like I wouldn't like straight up, you know, chug the controller or you know slam down the controller. I would like I throw it somewhere soft where it wouldn't break. I throw it on the bed. So he threw he threw stuff. Wow. I I, I slammed it down on the bed so that way it wouldn't. I was calculated my raging. <laughs> so wow. My calculated rager. <laughs> We got the calculated rager, the secret rager, the just surprise that everybody else rager. So, yeah. Did you just look up type A crazy? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't exist. It says it's off the scale. So, I never, <laughs> yeah. like, I think over time, because eventually I got, like, stick drift on my controller, but I didn't know if that was from, you know, me just playing the like moving the controller too much or if i was actually like you I raise did, did yeah, if you broke it if you brought the draw straight stick while playing yeah you yeah uh I, I think for me like i've i've never broken anything because like i said we didn't have that much money so the privilege of having a game system itself we cherish now my cherish have it mod it doesn't sound like it um <laughs> 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 Definitely doesn't sound like it, but I never got to the point where I wanted. To, now I've seen people break some stuff, yeah, while raging. Which I said to myself, man, they have to be rich. Yeah, that's, that's they have to be that. rich. There's no way on God's yeah. green earth you're breaking stuff. This, I mean, just like you just said, what, it's stuff. just a Nintendo. Back then, Nintendo was like the what? How much? Uh, what you call it? Cost nowadays. PS5s and different no, other stuff like that. that. They weren't that expensive, babe. Okay. Your tax bracket and my tax bracket. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. totally different. I keep trying to They were like two, three hundred dollars because I know I wouldn't have had one if it was. Wow. Ah, uh, so. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. Yeah, James move forward <laughs> amicably. <laughs> <laughs> he had to register in my head. I was like, wait, two, three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. I was the only child, sorry. That's your heart, you know? That, that goes so, you know? Your parents loved you very much. Not saying my parents didn't love me, you just didn't 
We didn't have it like that. You know, we yeah. we couldn't rage and break stuff and think we would get anything else like I that. But I don't think I broke it because I still have it. Like it's still usable. But you just said you was like, you know, listen. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, you just take the cord. You know, you, you, know, you got a controller and you throw the cord because you can't get. Did you do that? Oh, I tie. <laughs> you know I know what you're talking about. Wow. <laughs> you didn't do that? And then you got to get the electrical tape because it's all. Listen. It. Okay. Listen. I know I did that. So if it if it is if breaking and <clears throat> tearing up stuff, yeah, that's it right there. Uh, I was very. Uh, so, so would you say that. Because we've all seen people rage. Yeah. Yeah. So would you say that is it that it's a normal thing? I think we have normal um, or acceptable. Let's let 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 me say, let me add that. I think we've normalized it. Mm-hmm. Um, is it acceptable? I don't think it's acceptable because older Tiff will say that in my actions as younger Tiff or you know young adult Tiff I didn't get anything from like there was no fulfillment in raging Mm. it was just the normal thing to do because everybody did it right but just because everybody's doing it it doesn't make it something that is acceptable because who goes to say is normal we might throw you better not throw a controller but oh, who goes shoot. to say when our kids throw a controller at the TV okay that's not normal in our household so it's we have to define what is normal and then what is acceptable as gamers and as parents of gamers mm-hmm. when you see your child like if J-Dub gets too loud and I, I hear him like amp up and he's louder than what I'm used to hearing him. Is all right, chill out. All right, you too close with that word. Yeah. But I said, all right. Wild out, so. And yeah, I think for me, I'd be like, I'm cool because I know for a fact he knows where, where he's at. <laughs> <laughs> and he don't want his dad <laughs> with two sides with 11, 12. As they say at our door. church, he knows I will put paws and foot to him. Right. So I, I think Number one, knowing your environment, just like he said, he said it earlier yeah. that when he raised, he, he, when his mom was home, he raised a certain way. Right. When she left, the gloves was off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, nice. right. And all of mine was done in private time anyway. Wow. So, J-Dub, uh, is it normal or is ex- or acceptable? I think it's it's definitely normalized. Uh, yeah. Like Ms. Mado said. Uh, I'm Tiff. Tiff, my bad. Oh, wow. My bad. Wrong, wrong thing. Shut like like Tiff Shut said. See, that's me. Stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> you are low in the light with everything. Like like uh, Tiff said, uh, it's that's the, that's the, yeah. I, 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 that's I know it sounds weird. <laughs> it hey, sounded weird. Hey, just 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 do like just like she said. Like like she said. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely been normalized, but I don't think it's acceptable, especially. It's definitely been normalized because there's definitely a lot of clips on YouTube. You can find them just anywhere. And they'll be people, at the beginning of this clip. <laughs> people just raging. Yeah. And just breaking. So, like, and people react to it. And I've even seen people who also game and they have raged before. And they're, they're looking at them and saying, like, whoa, like, that's yeah. that's far. Like, what are you doing? Like, breaking that, breaking a whole monitor, breaking a PC, breaking your keyboard. Man. Like, Ooh, I be whooping some keys, tail. Jesus, help me. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was so, and, and that's the thing is like seeing other people rage, it makes you feel like, wow, do I do that? Or like, it makes you question like, you know, how much you actually rage, and it makes you stop yourself because like, what I, do I look like? Yeah, what do, what do yeah. I look like when I'm raging? Like, do I look like that. Hold <laughs> up, yeah, that, and then that, on top of that too, I want to add to that that because we're getting close to uh closing up but I want to add to that a lot of times we see that it is number one normalized like y'all said but also we feel like 
if we watch something that has as far did I just go country has <laughs> I rebuke you <laughs> get up out of here get up out of him now uh, I think a lot of time we do watch it and we see we're drawn to what gets more views right mm-hmm. so we we feel like as content creators we have to do that because I know a lot of time people do that like if we shot a video uh, watch me run out in front of the highway and then get like 10, 10 million views yeah, you're like you know running. something that's what we need to start doing no you don't <laughs> no stay not. your tail in the car right and I believe just like y'all said it is definitely normalized because I think in a lot of ways and you alluded to it earlier that it's deeper issues than the rage right, itself yeah, yeah. yeah especially if we have no responsible outlet to right. let it out in yeah so your outlet then not only does your outlet becomes unhealthy but then it becomes addictive right mm-hmm. so then you got two different things you got raging plus you're addicted to where you rage at right mm-hmm. but then as you get off that addiction or, or, or leave you think but it, it takes a little bit of nothing to push you to the edge because what I mean how you do anything is how you do everything right because a little bit, all it takes all it takes is that one time to to, to feel you, I hate to use this analogy but you talk about like when people are addicted to like we were talking about drugs and stuff and, and you yeah. always explain to me how that process is not that you do but from seeing it and saying it's like a, whatever to do thing. to that next hit so raging is the same way once you do it that first time and you get that adrenaline rush you seek to find that and it never it never caps or it, it, it just continues to go like there is no no topping off you want to go to the next level each time yeah and yeah. that's how raging can become if i'm getting nasally sorry um my, 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 my wife is uh, uh <laughs> that mucus is right here <laughs> <laughs> um, but if there's no cap and you don't have someone to help you to see that it's getting to a healthy level then it's easy to just go there yeah. because I mean you may not be as fortunate as you know J-Dub being as young as he is and like I said I was still in my 20s when I realized like oh like it start, I started gaming and being intense intensely involved in games like 20 like in my 20 my 20s mm-hmm. and so but i had to break out of it and i think you know the breaking out became when i realized like you didn't play games i realized you were into sports like that <laughs> and so well you do but like you were playing like i can see me get but if i would have got into that i probably would have been like the same way what like the yeah honestly i'm not gonna lie we probably would have never left the house <laughs> <laughs> so, it was just a just different made love and played grand theft Auto. <laughs> that's it that's all we did just, what an awesome oh, relationship right. you know what i'm saying what? so what we're what what we have to remember is having these conversations oh am i we ready to wrap up no, do you think? Uh, okay, uh, having the conversations with your your kids' parents about healthy ways to game, and also taking breaks. So, like with all of our kids, we've had to say, okay, take a break from the game today, or take a break for like an hour. Yeah, definitely, you know, let's limit how much time you are on your games, and it's no matter if it's console, cell phone games, PC games, any t- sometimes even sports. Yeah. You have to know when to pull your kids back because they may not have that same self-control that what Jay Dub had, you know, and he's learning because he's under our roof. Mm-hmm. Like he's under our roof so we're teaching him like, "Yo, son, that's unhealthy." Hey, you can't say that back, because your sister just said that same word <laughs> and she's not supposed to say that while gaming. Yeah. And I, th- I think so. it's also they made me better in the way of not trying to rage as much because I've seen, you know, Rye gets upset. Oh, oh, we talking about most. Mo- 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 
Boy, you trying to give up everything. Why are you telling my social security number, too? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but most, go ahead. Most sister, uh, two. One. One. Why? Why? My Why? sister, Why? one. I've seen her get mad because she lost, and, and, you know, she got into a little, you know, her attitude. And I yep. said, hey, hey, take, go ahead and take a break, you know. Yep. You got to step away from the game. Is she mad at you because you still playing yet? Like, you know, <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, because we... Whether you want to, I mean, admit it or not, we are truly byproduct of our environment. So, and the crazy part is, Rye didn't start raging until she seen J Dub. I mean, most is the one didn't start raging until she seen J Dub rage. So I think she know. said, "Okay, it's acceptable." Yeah, because they didn't understand the concept until really having to see somebody else. Because we, like, even if we did play games, now, well, I can't say that because we got intense playing board games too. Like, who? We did. We we're, we're uh, you know we play board games. Remember? Well, most of the two kick everybody's there. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> like, so we all like she saw pieces of it, but the vocal side of it she had never seen before. Yeah. So then the, once the vocal side started trickling down to my sister too, it was kind of like, okay, what can we do? Because we don't we want them to be able to play on games, but we want them to be able to do it in a healthy way, but still also understand how to express themselves. So it may be a little bit. Why are you? Feeling Straight right now. Why are you screaming at the guy? Well, because Mo Sister One didn't do such and such. I told her, and she's Mo Sister One. Do you really have to do that again? No. Okay, stop doing that then. Like it's really kind of. You gotta say, J Dub. Do you do you have to kill your sister all the time? All the time. <laughs> no, he don't. He still do it. Well, she gotta learn. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's really just teaching your kids how to do gaming and enjoy responsibly it. too yeah uh, yeah and do it responsibly but be able to truly enjoy it so um j dub to close this out what is it that you can give people who are you know breaking tvs um breaking expensive consoles for their uh parents that they didn't paid for right when it come out your pocket it, it, it's different it hit different what what advice can you give them? Uh, I tell them to just take a step back and figure out why you rage. Because mm-hmm. because if you can't figure out why you're raging, because I know another reason why I rage is because the first time, like you said, the first time you get that adrenaline. Mm-hmm. It, for me, it was when I raged. I made people laugh, and I was like, oh, okay. Or well, laughing whenever I'm raging, so let me keep doing well, that. Keep the party going. <laughs> yeah. All right, might well, well. Let, me, let me keep doing it. Jeez. But it got to the point where I'm like, I can make people laugh without doing that. I can yeah. make I can make noises without you know, and people and people laugh. So it's all about taking a step back and saying, why do I rage, and is is it really beneficial to me to be doing this? And there's there's healthier ways to do it because I've seen people who have rage on the rage clips but you see those very few it's very few because they want to get the views but it's very few that will grab something else like maybe they have like a punching bag next to them or mm-hmm. they have something else next to them so that way they can't break anything so if it's something i definitely seek help if you need to if you have that sort of problem but you, yeah it i'd say just find out why is the main thing yeah it's good What? You? You told me you gonna raise at me? <laughs> what to the kids? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had a separate question. No, it's the same question. It's a closeout question. Oh, so what? What advice? Bring us home. I give? Bring us home. <sighs> what? What advice? Um, even if even if you have to hit something off screen, it's still raging. So you have to. As as kids, you gotta find a different outlet. I wouldn't just say kids or adults as well. Everybody, yeah, yeah. if you are at a point where you are raging and you are a gamer, if you watch games, if you play in games, whether it does not matter what arena it is, if you are verbally aggressive or overly aggressive, um, you do want you definitely want to seek help. 
but two it it is you might need to take a hiatus off of that game you have to give yourself some time as well because anything excessively can become unhealthy mm -hmm. um and so in that instance i definitely agree uh with j-dub as far as making sure you're getting the help and the help may simply be sitting down with your parents or sitting down with somebody you trust saying hey yo i got an issue you know hey i know we do this you know it could be you and your homies whatever you and your girlfriend wherever y'all are you gotta understand that they can't hear you if they on the tv yeah you know, it is just a game. It is. I hate to say that, but it it, <laughs> it really is just a game. And I think once you get your head wrapped around that part, it not becomes so invested. Yeah. Because it is supposed to be entertainment, whether it's watching a physical game or playing, you know, a game on a console. It is so. It is meant to be entertainment. It is not meant to have you rage out. And then I asked, would raging be so popular if we didn't have people with the capacity or the ability now to be able to stream? Would raging then be as big as it is? You know what I mean? Like, because now we can actually display. Like you said, you did it because you you were making people laugh. Well, that means they can either see you or they can hear you. So mm -hmm. do I, am I feeding into now pleasing what others are wanting from me? Or is this something that is really a deep-seated thing in me that I need to explore? Mm -hmm. So either way, on either ends, you need to seek help in and be okay with taking a break or giving yourself time limits on certain games because everybody has to step away at some point yeah um for me i would say listen grab that controller and throw it at the tv <laughs> <laughs> Better not do that. Grab that sledgehammer. Nah. I want you to see the hey, That's like, no entertainment. Hey, some kids, somebody was just like, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, you talking right. right. Said, Finally. Finally, <laughs> Finally, somebody gets it. A million views. No. <laughs> oh, my God. But on, on a real note, I would say um, your rage, nine times out of ten, lead to a brokenness within yourself yeah and a lot of times our rage is the identity to the problems that we a lot of times just deal with even with like when it comes to sports and and if you ever notice it's usually when you rage you, do, you like you never rage that you know you should be doing better financially like you never mm -hmm. rage that <laughs> like i should like you never rage about a grade well unless your your parents is like hey listen mm -hmm. they rage i'm about, about yeah, to snatch your do, game yeah. system they, yeah there is raging about grades yeah. And stuff. yeah yeah it's not not, not everybody though, i guarantee you some people, right, no, some people just yeah. accept it. hey hey i did i did what i could uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's never a rage about um making doing better by yourself as far as health wise there's never that there's never a rage for self control you know these yeah. different things that will benefit you in the long run right but i would say honestly you i mean you have to admit that you have a problem number one i would say get help number two because it, it stems to something else deeper than the actual rage because the rage can lead to something else right that can end you locked up for something that you could have got a like a, a real good grip on right. at an early yeah. time you know what i'm saying at an early age yeah and it's good that j-dub has been able to get a grip on early Mm -hmm. early like okay these are my problems that I'm dealing with and then understand because he understands too yeah and which is good for these single ladies who are watching <laughs> to understand that he's not a rager he's ladies. not a rager he can control himself he's a controlled rager self control <laughs> he's not a sinful rager <laughs> you know the bible says be angry but sin not but, but sin do not, not sin not but that, that is my thing um 
I, I think this was, this was and is a awesome topic. I don't think I I really will hear anybody talk about raging and gaming because I think it's just it's, not, it's, it's one of those secret things you want to do. You don't want to talk about it, and as a parent, you really don't want to admit that. Hey, my child is tearing up crap in my house. And parents, here's a key for you: if your child is raging in your house, take that guy's system for a few strip days. that room bare. <laughs> <laughs> take everything out. Don't even leave sheets on the bed. Just have them <laughs> lay there. Listen, it's too far. Then I guarantee you it won't rage again. That's true. Or at least have a conversation with them. Hey, no, listen. They, no, you got to take some because if you tear it up, stay in your Then have a conversation. Hey, hey, hey look, bring them to us. We, we <laughs> all I need is a weekend. That's, that's it. all. No, it, not even a whole you know, weekend. not even a whole weekend. But consistency uh, is, is everything. Yeah. You let the you you can let us deal with it, yeah. and you know we can take it from there. And there not, will be a fido. And parents, you're not you're not alone in this because there are you're not like we get it. We we see it with kids of all ages. We do have kids that play sports. Uh, so we have two sons that well, one is coaching now. Yeah. <laughs> one play, and then we have our gamers in the house. So yeah. we do get it. You're not alone. But if your child is raging, like take take the TV off the wall, lead it, lead a course. Just take the whole system and, and don't give in. Hey, look, and also if you need some strategizing and punishment. I am that guy. <laughs> He's the guy. So. I tell you that now. So I have a plethora. You can DM of us or drop in the comments. <laughs> yep. uh, he he definitely has brilliant ideas. Hey, they're right, J Dub. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this has been the podcast episode number forty-five, season three. I'm Mo. I'm Tiff. I'm J Dub. And thank you for tuning in to, to this podcast. Mo and Tiff podcast. To this Mo and Tiff podcast. Why are you repeating that to me? <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to say it together. Um, or, oh, you ready? No, nah, I'm cool. Um, okay. You know, hey, what's, what's done is done. Uh, before you go, we have a video that is just for you. Matter of fact, before we go, let's drop this little announcement. I can't breathe. I'll just breathe for you. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a new member of the uh made over squad the made over channel who is coming down who 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 is it babe who, who who's coming to the channel i just want to say that it is with pleasure and honor that we welcome J Dub yeah. in the building, so let's go. That's right, J Dub is coming to the Made Over channel. He has his own playlist. Be watching out for his yes. content that will be on the channel. For yes, those yes. who have been asking, do you guys do gaming? Yes, we do gaming. We do gaming. Understand the channel just went up. <laughs> today's price <laughs> It's not yesterday's price But yes he is on the channel Look we taking all challenges So uh listen <laughs> Watch this video This video is for you and we love you See you next time Hey can you repeat this prayer with me Here I am Lord I laid all down at your feet And I repent of every sin That I have committed Knowingly and unknowingly Father, I truly need you. So I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, and I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead, that I may be saved. And Father, I ask God that you will fill me up as I empty myself, and I ask that you will show me your ways. In Jesus' name, amen.